Children are vulnerable and need adults to guide them through their life, but they're defenseless in the hands of an evil parent. Hi, sweetheart. You okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. I know. Come here. Join me as we look at five cases of tragically abused children moments before they were saved. Wake up, baby. In June 2023, in Michigan, police received a deeply disturbing report. A mother had attacked and wounded her sister and children with a knife. Fearing for the victim's lives, the officer immediately rushed to the scene. And as we advise, it looks like the mother had stabbed her sister. We're trying to get rid her. We don't know where she's at. We're out. County unit in front of me is going to be the one on the right, right there with the door ajar. Channel. The officer had already broken through the door and entered the apartment. As they head inside, it's obvious they're prepared for the absolute worst. Okay. Sheriff's Department! Public safety! Yeah, someone in here. You're going to there? Yep. That's authority. Buddha. The officer stayed behind, examining the bedroom as his partner scouted ahead. After a brief check to make sure if anyone was behind the bathroom door, the officer rushed in to assist. What he found was a scene straight from a nightmare. The officer had rushed in to find the child's mother holding her baby underwater, drowning her after she had stabbed her in the chest. It was thanks to the officer's quick reaction and administering CPR that the child was saved. The only survivor from the massacre of her family, the rest of her siblings already killed. Unfortunately, the officers arrived just a little too late to stop the worst thing from happening. But in this case, they're just in time and it's all about putting their training to the test to save another child. We're gonna have to check on the kid one way or another, bro. So you can make this harder or you can make it easy, dude. Lord Take my kid from me! It's late October in Albuquerque, New Mexico, when police officers responded to a call from a neighbor worried about the health of the little boy living next door. The report tells us that he had reason to think that his mother and her boyfriend were abusing him and decided to call for help. But what the officers thought was going to be a case of simple but tragic domestic abuse turned into a scene from a nightmare. Hello, police department. We're, we're here to check on a kid, man. Who lives with you? Huh? Who lives with my mom? Yeah, she's in the hospital right now. Well, it's me and my girlfriend. We got a call that there's a kid in the apartment. My son? Yeah, your son that he didn't look well. So that's why we're here to check on him. Yeah, he fell off the bed the other night, and so he's kind of bruised up a little bit. We're gonna have to check on the kid one way or another, bro. So you can make this harder or you can make it easy, dude. In case you had trouble understanding what was said, the officers asked both the boy's mother and her boyfriend multiple times about the boy. While the boyfriend avoided it, the mother seemed to go on the defensive, mentioning the boy falling off the bed more than a few times. Finally, realizing that something was very wrong, the officers decided to enter the home and check up on the boy themselves. And it didn't take long for things to turn sour and for the officers to realize how horrifying the situation actually was. So the lights working? Yeah, the lights working. I just have them off because my bill's so high. Like I said, he's crazy, he jumps. He rolled off the bed. Are you taking my gun? Hey, wait, 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 freeze, don't start. No, you're taking my son, dude. Wait, I You're silly. Realizing the boy was badly hurt, the officer took him away only to be attacked by his mother. When they were finally alone in the patrol car and she had the chance to check up on him, she realized exactly how badly hurt the child was. In the meantime, the boy's mother and her boyfriend remained aggressive towards the police officer, avoiding their questions. The mother even blamed the boy's biological father for the abuse, a father that was not anywhere near the house at the time and in fact had not seen his son in almost three weeks. You took my son! I know I want to talk to you! You don't want to talk to me? No! That's I want my son, you son of a I'm not gonna have your son back. You want to grab me? Seriously, what's your name? 
It's Natalie. Lord, take my kid from me when I'm not the one abusing him, dog. His dad does. The boy's mother and her boyfriend were finally arrested on the charge of assaulting an officer and went to jail for domestic abuse. In the meantime, the child was taken into the custody of the Albuquerque's Children, Youth, and Families Department to be taken care of until a family can be found to take good care of him. It's a good thing the boy was found before things got much worse. However, it's not just violence that can put a child in danger, but neglect too. And this is a perfect example. Is this where you live? You live here? Why am, I, why, why am I interested? It's June 2019 in Volusia County, Florida. A sheriff's deputy is making the rounds when two women ask him to stop by the side of the road. They have found a small child, not even two years old, walking alone on the side of the road. My heart is, my heart is about to jump out my body. Who's? Did we find? Know. No. I, I just pulled over. I found them. They were walking in the road? Yes, his face. He actually... Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. So. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want, I don't know if you you want to come to me or are you good over there? Oh, um, look at this you. Awful. All right, let's go. Uh, let me... Hang tight. Can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He didn't say anything. He's not afraid of them, for sure. He didn't say nothing, though? Oh, okay. Come here, buddy. But he almost ran out in front of my truck when I was turning up here. He's running in front of their car. Gotcha. Oh my God. Jesus <laughs> Christmas. Give me one. Just hang tight for me one second and I'll get all your information. Is this where you live? You live here? Do you live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? Fortunately, the police officer who found him knew exactly where he came from and who was responsible. Hello! Awesome. See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here and we can he can sit in the back of my car for a second? Absolutely is. Come here. Hey little man. Oh, you poor little diaper. Grandbaby, that freaking freaked me out. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm pretty I had to, I had to pull over, I had to. No, absolutely. Where was he walking? He was just walking right here? Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just coming from Lisa Murray for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It freaked me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement sure, about what exactly sure. happened? Okay, give me I one second. I definitely will. And I know you're working, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there, right. but I was out here for a similar incident, and it was that trailer right there. So I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were younger, I'm pretty, they were younger obviously at the time, but oh, that's why I'm oh, kind of remembering him. Uh, You're a godsend today. Yes. Go ahead. Um, you want to sit in the back of my car real quick? Ooh. In the, in the blue, with the blue lights on? Oh. We'll put the blue lights on, all right? Man, poor baby. Woo, look at you, man. I know, it's so cool. Right, look at you, all right? Oh. You can, you want to sit in your, in your car? Okay, Go ahead, yeah, where it's nice and cold great. and I'll hang out here with Thank him. You. What's up, little man? You like it in here? Where's your mom at? Where's your dad? You are full of bug bites. Yeah, that's that's my uh, traffic vest, so I don't get run over by cars, you know? Kind of like what we almost happened to you. Oh, get that mosquito. You don't need any more mosquito bites on you, buddy. Do you do high fives? You do knuckles? Oh, high five? Down low? We gotta try to find your mom and dad. Or somebody. Where they at? Where'd mom go? Is that your, that's not your mom. Where's your mom? I see a hat. Ah, that's my hat. Give me that hat back, boy. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Ah, I can't see. That's my hat. Ah, give me that hat. <laughs> give me that. The little boy, the police report said, was covered in bed bug bites and was wearing a dirty diaper. Back in 2018, the boy's parents had been charged with child neglect. The officer in charge was not going to let it continue. You recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. You remember that? Yeah. And your son today was in the street walking out on US-1. And luckily, some nice ladies Daddy. saw him and stopped before he got smushed by a freaking car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. Can we get him a new diaper on? You don't even want to like, I mean, you can look at it obviously, but it's disgusting. Like I didn't even want to walk in there, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't another kid in there. It's just a 
same kid or different? No, it's the same kid. Okay. The same kid that called us last time. He's got a younger sister, I think. She's with the grandparents. So we're going to need to call DCF or the grandparents. The officers in charge went on to arrest the little boy's parents, who seemed to care more about the fact they were going to jail than learning not to neglect their children. Step out of the car for me. Come here. Come on. Step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this with both of you. What? Is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested. So get your kid dressed. For what? Child neglect. Why? Come on. What do you mean why? why? Have a seat in the back of my car. Why? I've had enough please. of you guys. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean why? Get, get, sit, get, sit in the back of the car. Slide in the car now. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Turn around. Come here. You, you're next. For what? Why am, I, why, why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What, what did I do though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out in the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? Looking around. That's what you were doing. I was putting clothes on. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. Somebody's, it's just, they're letting him eat. Old McDonald's that's like 10 years old, they can't get him clothes, but he's walking around with his glass everywhere. You know, this is just ridiculous. My patience is, is done with these two. According to the report filed after the arrest, the officers contacted the Florida Department of Children and Families. Hopefully the children will find a better home with parents that care for them. But for some unlucky children, neglect is the least of their worries, especially when their parents are explosively, unpredictably violent. Sean. Come on out, man. We know you're here. It's the middle of October in Akron, Ohio, and police are hot on the trail of an Amber Alert issued for a five-year-old boy. According to the boy's mother, he was taken from her at gunpoint following an arranged visit, a terrifying situation to say the least. Officers of the Akron Police Department were quick to react to the situation. He came out the, he, he came out the laundry building. When the, door, when the window was open, he came he, out there. He could have came out there, because you know we, we cleared that. No one was in there. No, he came out of there. I'm telling y'all, he really did. I watched Where, where did he go, dear? He, he stood by the laundry door uh, with the did, little boy in his hand. Did you see where he where he walked off to? No, all, okay. all I seen was him standing there with with the little boy in his hand. That's all I seen. And I think he did come out that building because he because he came out there with the little boy in his hand. The little boy was like this, just sitting there laying. And that was after we left. Yes. No, right some of y'all was still out here. When I walked in, it was maybe about like nine twenty nine twenty five. Everything was over. Yes, the SWAT was over, and she was like, Auntie Kim, I think he surrendered himself. I said, Why? Why you say that? She said because he came out holding a little boy with his arms up, and that's what she told me. But she just said to let basically the same thing to y'all. This is that night to the but now y'all telling me that. Yeah. Find the little boy. What well, yeah. house was up? But it's it's, it's a, a laundry, it's a laundry room it's over here. Okay. All right. I know exactly where it was. Hi, buddy. It's okay. Occupant, right. it's the 1307 okay. Sylvan. Come out one at a time with your hands up. The Akron Police Department. All right, I got a couple adults in the living room. There's a kid. Hey, come on out! Bring the kids out! They have to hurry up. The door has to be open in the basement. All right, show them. One at a time. Get the kids yeah, out. That's my wife. Bring your kids. Eleanor! Get the kids out. Let's go. Come on. Bring oh, all the children. Ellie's son is in underwear. Eleanor! Come here! Hey. Hey, come here, sweetie. Ellie, come here. 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 I know, we were just camping. You got males already come out behind the female. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's it, that's it. Is that okay, baby? That's all? No, 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 no. That's my buddy, Jeff. John. One at a time, please, except for the children. One at all at a time. Over here. Behind the cruiser, guys. Over here, all everyone. Let's get back down. Hey, buddy, is that everybody? Yeah. Hey, don't let him go. Let's just stick around. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Not that one, the other one is just more five. Do we have someone with them? Yeah, we got him. The officers immediately surrounded the building where the alleged kidnapper had hidden. When everyone was safely outside, officers began to try and convince the suspect to step outside and avoid unnecessary violence. Hey, Sean, Zach, the police department! Come on out with your hands up! Hey, you too. Right here. Sean, this is the Akron Police Department. Sean, this is the Akron Police Department. Come out with your hands up and you will not be harmed. Can I get one? Sean! Zach, the police department. All right, come on, buddy. I got him. I got him. I got okay, him. Okay, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Watch him up. Watch him up. Come on out, buddy. 
Come here, 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 come Unfortunately, the suspect refused to turn himself in, forcing the police officers to call in the SWAT team in an attempt to overpower the man before the situation could get worse. Sean, come on out, man. We know you're here. Your mom is out here, man. She, I'll let you talk to her after you come on out. All right, you cooperate with us, you can talk to your mother once you come out, okay? Thankfully, the kidnapper realized his situation was hopeless and eventually allowed the child to go free, but only after suffering some minor injuries in the process. Hi, man. Come on out. Just step through. you have anything on you that you miss? Knives, guns, drugs, needles, anything like that? I do got to go through all your pockets, all right? Let's bring your feet for me, Sean. I do have that heat going. It'll get better. Back we get in the vehicle, though, okay? I got double locked, though, Sean. Alright, step on up, man. Should be a relatively short drive, alright? Step on down, man. Watch your step, man. Alright. Watch out, man. Come on, man. My face looks like that. Yeah. Got a little cut. What's that, man? Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, it's real warm. Did uh, that, that heat feel good in there? Yeah. So, dude, I tried to talk to you for an hour. You didn't come out. The guy that was out there talking to you. I know you heard me. No, I asked the guy, didn't he? I asked the guy talking to me. Out at the house? Where? Is it home? Yeah. Oh. You didn't hear me talking no, to I, you? No, I just got out. I was out. Dude. What's that? I was out. You were out? I was out. I was trying to go back. Dude, I was, I was trying to talk to you for an hour. Really? Yeah. I was in a bike over there, dude. I was fast. So when I said it, a numerous time, I'm like, Sean, this thing with that police, we're not going to leave. We know you're here. Come on out with your hands up. I mean, I was like, I was really dead. I was dreaming at that time he was talking to me, but yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's a very, very feel minor. Feel it looks like nothing. Well, the nurse is here to check you out real quick. All right, so what happened, buddy? All right, what happened to your head? Okay, so you don't know what happened to your head? I guess I'm fucking close. You know, it's because they tried to hurt me. And, the boy's father was arrested and charged with kidnapping, abducting a child, and domestic violence. As for the boy, he seemed to be safe and sound, as happy an ending as one could hope for given the circumstances. Sometimes, however, a kidnapping is not done on purpose. Instead, children can be taken by accident and left to suffer a terrible fate, all because of a criminal's neglect. Hi, sweetheart. You okay? Come here. I know, come here. It's winter 2016 in Albuquerque and winter has come down hard. Police are on the lookout for a missing girl who's just three years old. The situation seems desperate until a patrolling officer spots someone in the middle of a freezing parking lot. Hi, sweetheart. You okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. I know, come here. Come on. Come on, sit my car. You sit warm, okay? You sit warm right here, okay? You sit warm, okay? Yeah. You sit warmer in his ear. Are you okay, sweetie? Hi, baby girl. We're trying to get on the air. You're okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's getting warm. You're okay, baby. The little girl had gone missing when a group of car thieves stole her mother's car with her still inside. Adding insult to injury, the thief drove away for some distance before finally deciding to abandon the little girl in the middle of the freezing cold, not once caring about her safety. You're right, baby. It's okay. Get the heat going on there, okay? Get the heat. I got the heat on full blast, baby. You cold? Oh, good job, guys. Good night. Oh. Are you warming up, sweetie? I just looked over. I was watching them and my... She was sitting right here. She was sitting right there on the curb. According to the report later filed by the Albuquerque police, the little girl was scared, cold, and tired, but did medically end up completely fine. She was quickly taken back to her mother, safe and sound, even though she was certainly more than a little bit scared. Despite the police's best efforts, the man who stole her mother's car and briefly kidnapped her, however, has not been found.